There's nothing better to a fresh food lover than picking out a perfectly ripe avocado or tomato until one slice reveals a brown bruise or mealy mess. Have you ever wanted to check if an avocado's gone bad before buying it? A new camera technology might be just what you need to see beneath surfaces and reveal hidden details in things like fruit and even under human skin. Inside Science TV. This may look like a regular camera with a big flash, but there's nothing ordinary about it at all. It's called a hyperspectral camera, and it can see much more than a traditional camera. It can even see images that your eyes can't. If you point a hyperspectral camera on a human body, you'll be able to see the, uh, the, human, the person's veins. The human eye and a normal camera see just three bands, or colors of light, red, green, and blue. A hyperspectral camera can see many more bands of light, 17 in this case. That's way more colors than a normal camera can capture. 12 of these wavelengths are in the color spectrum, so like red, green, blue, orange, yellow, uh, violet, colors like that. And then the rest of the five wavelengths are from the infrared region. So, and the infrared is the wave, are the wavelengths that human eye cannot see at all. The camera flashes in a sequence of 17 different wavelengths of light, capturing a different image for each wavelength. Then computer software combines the images to make one overall image, one that can reveal invisible details like the veins inside a hand. The infrared light would penetrate into one or two layers of the skin, uh, and that's why you can see the veins through a multispectral camera. The camera caught this time-lapse of the inside of an avocado ripening over the course of a week. It's super cool technology, but it's not the first hyperspectral camera of its kind. It's just much cheaper, by thousands of dollars. What we can do here is that you can have a much low-cost version that could be just part of your you know, smartphone, and you could use that to just see the produce that you are buying. Is it ripe, is it not ripe, or is there any defect on the inside? Researchers think the technology has other applications. I've been talking to dentists who just want to, you know, build like a really small version of the cyberspectral camera into the toothbrush itself, so that when the person is brushing their teeth, it just keeps track of their uh, teeth health. Researchers are working to improve the technology to work better in bright light, but say they hope to have a smartphone version for just 50 bucks in the next few years. This is Inside Science TV. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.